guys, welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. If you're new to my channel, 31 Days of Halloween is where I post a new Halloween costume makeup tutorial every single day in October. Be sure to subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any of the fun, because you know it's gonna be fun. Today is my take on a Disney classic, Beauty and the Beast. My friend Marie from the YouTube channel Bits and Clips had the idea to do a beauty in the beast. So to see my beastly beauty come to life, stay tuned. I did this makeup about three weeks ago and ran into some issues. The first issue that I had was that the brown paint I used for the beast was far too dark. I also used crepe hair for the brows and beard, which just ended up blending in with the brown base color and the wig, and it all just ended up looking really detailless and muddy. Plus it needed a little more on the body, so for the final look I ended with, I added the Beast's red cape, which added a lot more color and interest, if you ask me. For the second attempt, I started out by mapping out where I wanted the gashes on my skin to be. For this, I am using the white cream paint and a bent liner brush. A much easier and less messy option would be to use a white or nude eyeliner pencil, but I didn't have one, because mine wasn't sharpened. They wipe away really easily if you make a mistake and it makes it really easy to just map out the perfect area that you want to be. You see me here covering over the white cream paint with a liquid latex. This step turned out to be completely irrelevant in the process because here I'm using a high quality slip latex that really doesn't like to tear off in little chunks as I had anticipated, but just peeled off as a whole. So if I did this again, I wouldn't even waste my time with this step. I filled in the areas for the beast with a light brown body paint. For this, I'm using the Mayron Paradise paint, which is a water-activated body paint. After the base layer of light brown is down, I then highlighted the high points of my face, neck, and chest with a white cream paint. Cream paints blend beautifully over water-activated paint, so with a patting motion, I just pressed it gently into my skin. Then using a deep maroon body paint, I drew on the basic shape of his cape and then filled it all in. This was when I realized that the liquid latex didn't work. I then patted a red cream paint over the top of the cape, especially in the high points of my shoulders. Then taking a bit of white cream paint mixed with the red, I patted it onto the ball of my shoulder and blended it out, also into the shape of the curve of fabric. Because I was using a lot of cream paints for this look, I made sure to set everything with a translucent powder to be able to blend shadows on top of it without it looking choppy. For this, I used the NYX SFX Set Powder, but any translucent powder will do. Then I took a deep brown eyeshadow and shaded around the edge of the tears and under the red cloak. This gives the shadow appearance as if the cloak is laying on top of our skin. Then taking a dark maroon shadow, I shaded as if there were wrinkles in the fabric bunching up in the front. When there are wrinkles in fabric, there would also be a highlight in between each dark shadow. This entire look is a lot of layering. Dark browns in the deep areas and highlights of white in the light areas. It's all about how light would hit those specific areas. I'm still not a pro at this, but it's honestly all just about practice. With a dark brown body paint, I then painted on, in very light strokes, hair. This doesn't look perfect, and I'm not really sure I like the way that it turned out, but I'm struggling with this, and I probably should honestly use a very thin, sparse fan brush. Then I put a line extending out from beneath my bottom lip and over to appear like a new bottom lip for the beast. Then I painted on a tooth extending upward for the beast's lower jaw. I filled in the entire tooth with white, and then patted on some yellow shadow at the base to look as if it were a natural tooth, which are typically a little darker at the bottom. And then I highlighted along the top of the new drawn on lip. Then with a small brush, I buffed on some foundation into my bell skin areas. For Belle's dress, I'm painting with a yellow water-activated paint onto one of the openings. Then using a dark yellow eyeshadow, I shade at the bottom of the yellow dress in the same pattern as the wrinkles of the cape. Same with the highlighting with the white over the top of the high points of the wrinkles in the fabric, etc.
Then using a grayish brown shadow and a small pointed brush, I shaded at the top of the dress to show that it's laying on top of my skin. I then filled in my eyebrows on Belle's side. And then using that same shade on my brow brush, I defined the tooth of the beast. I ran a dark brown shade through the beast's crease, and then I ran a taupe brown eyeshadow through Belle's crease. Drew on a wing liner and threw on some lashes for her. I also then filled in her lips with a medium pink lipstick. One of the very finishing steps is to line the edges of the gashes with blood. Using a product like Third Degree, I would intensify this look by making it look like torn skin. However, since the latex didn't pan out, I didn't want to make this look less accessible for you to do, so I kept it with just blood on the skin and adding drops of blood down. I then drew a furrowed brow on with a dark brown eyeshadow, extending up my forehead with a curved line going up my forehead from the bottom of my brow. I also ran some black mascara through the brows on the beast side. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this beauty in the beast makeup look. Make sure to tune in tomorrow and every single day this October for more Halloween costume makeup looks. There will be some pretty intense ones coming up. So don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the videos go live, which will be at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you do decide to recreate this look, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see your work. I would love the two. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video, which is tomorrow. Of all the foods, Edmund, of all the foods, you asked for Turkish goddamn motherfucking delight. Of all the foods. Not pizza, not freaking delicious ass, carne asada tacos, no. Turkish delight. Gelatinized cubes of hideousness. Why? They're nothing special. Yeah, they are, you little bitch. They're way more special than you. Tell him, bitch. I hope so. You're my mistake. You little fucking asshole. Until we literally cause a war. I'm gonna miss you. Literally, like, no, everyone just forgives him. Kills Aslan. Could I maybe have that small Turkish delight now? Edmund, really?